So we just finished looking at the substitution method, and now we want to look at the elimination method. Now one of the things to point out about the elimination method is that you need to have a particular setup for your system so that things go very smoothly when you use this method. So for the elimination method, here's a little note. This is best when used with standard form. So if your equations are in standard form, the elimination method is super fast, super easy, super useful. And here's what it says. It says that if you need to, uh, multiply one or maybe both equations by constant so that when you combine those equations, you get a variable to eliminate. And once you get one of those variables to eliminate, you have a nice equation to solve, do that, and then you finish just like you did in the substitution method. So what's really going on is this. Uh, we're saying that when you have two equations, so if A equals B and C equals D, then if you combine everything here on the left, A plus C, that's going to equal the sum of the pieces that you have on the right sides of the equations. And so that's what the elimination method is. You just combine everything on the left, you combine everything on the right, and hopefully you get something to go away. So when I look here at this problem right here, now I know we've already done this, okay? We did it just a little bit ago. But if you try to combine everything that's on the left side here, so if I take everything here and I combine it, what's going to happen? Well, plus y and minus y are additive inverses, so they're going to cancel, they're going to simplify away, and we're just left with 3x. And then you combine everything that's here on the right side, and you get you get 9. So very quickly, without you really having to do anything, you have one equation with just one variable, and it's a super easy one to solve. So 3x equals 9, divide both sides by 3, and x equals 3. And there you go. Now, we're not done, right? So we just have part of the answer that x equals 3. Plug it into one of the original equations to find y. Now, the first time we did it, I believe we plugged it into the first equation. So let's plug it into the second one. So if I go x minus y equals 8, I know that x is 3. So 3 minus y equals 8. Just want to drop those parentheses so it's easier to see. Move the 3 to the other side. I know you may be thinking, why do you have to show all those little steps? Well, you know, sometimes it's really easy to make a mistake with a sign, and it's easier for me if I can actually see what's going on. Little steps like this, like dividing by 3, that's nice and simple. Shouldn't be too bad. But once I start moving terms from one side to the other, sometimes I just need to see it so I don't make a simple, careless mistake here at the end. And look at this, we get the same answer that we got you know, a few videos ago. So we have 3, negative 5. Now, not all of these systems are going to be set up so it's just that easy. Uh, for example, look at the next one. In this next one, we have 3x plus 5y equals 7 and 2x plus y equals 7. If I try to combine everything on the left side, nothing goes away. If I combine all of this, I get 5x and I get 6y. That doesn't help me. But what I can do is that I can multiply one or maybe both of these equations so that something can, excuse me, so that something can eliminate. And you want to do it in such a way so that you have coefficients that are opposites of each other. So you might try to find something you can multiply times 2 so that it'll match with 3. But if you do that, you're going to have to work with fractions. Instead, look at the y's. This is a 5y and this is a 1y. If I could multiply this by something to get a negative 5 here, I'd be in really good shape. In fact, that's what I'm going to use is negative 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 5. And I want you to see what happens. So the first equation doesn't change. It stays as 3x plus 5y is equal to 7. 
Now I'm using the multiplication property of, uh, of e multiplication property of equality. Yeah, there we go. To multiply both the left and the right sides by negative five. So make sure you distribute correctly. This gives me negative 10x, negative 5y equals, don't forget about the right side, negative 35. So we manipulated this so that now when I combine everything here on the left side, look what happens to the y's. These guys are now additive inverses and they go to 0. 3x minus 10x is negative 7x and combining the constants on the right side, I get negative 28. Divide both sides by negative 7. And x equals positive 4. So we had to do some manipulating here so that one of these variables would eliminate. It does. Now we have x equals 4. And I just need to find that corresponding y value. Okay, so you can plug this into, and I suggest again, go back to one of the original equations. I can plug it in here, or I can plug it in here. Now, my inclination is to plug it into this one right here because I'm trying to solve for y. If I know that I'm solving for y at the end, this guy is already y. This is 5y, so you know there would be an extra step of having to divide by 5. So let's go to this one. Again, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't matter. As long as you do everything right, pay attention to your signs, you're going to be fine. All right, so I'm replacing the x with 4. I get 8 plus y equals 7. Subtract 8 on both sides, and y is equal to negative 1. All right, so there is the other half of our uh, solution. And combined, we get the ordered pair four, negative one. And we can see that it wouldn't take too much time to verify and check that this is correct just by plugging these guys into the original equation. So let's do that off to the side here, starting with this. So if I do 3 times 4 plus 5 times negative 1, that's 12 minus 5, which equals 7. Exactly what I was supposed to have. Down here, that's 2 times 4 plus y, which is negative 1. We get 8 minus 1, which equals 7. So we can very clearly see that 4, negative 1 is the solution to this system. We checked it into both, so we're good.